Then you are exclusive for Sky, or you do want to do some more commentator work? No, I, I, I do what I want to do. I'm, I'm, I'm quite lazy. I want to hardly work, not work hard, right? That, that's my mantra. Uh, but look, if, if I get a chance to, to work for, for another broadcaster, then, then so be it. But I really, Mervyn King's just tried to gate crush the. Uh, Are you will, you can stop in. Go on, Merv. Yeah. Me? No, not me. No, no, honestly. I just want to. Oh, sorry. I just want some cold air. Cold sorry, air. Uh, am I pushed in? It's very sorry. warm in here. It's very warm in here. Uh, but yeah, I, look, I'm, I do what I do for Sky, and that's it. And I commentate on the world's best, and we happen to be standing next to one of them. What is your view of Marvin King right now? He is some grown down on the rankings, but he play. Hey, that's enough of that. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, you want to come back? When Better you, now. When you go down, there's only one way, and that's back up. How are you going to do it going up? Well, I'm not here to make the numbers up, son. You have a plan? Yeah. Win. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's quite simple. It, it, and honestly, it, it, he simplified it, but that is it. It's just yeah. win more games. And Merv knows what standard he can play. And so, this is the important thing. We were chatting about this earlier. The other players know the standard he can play at. And once they know that they're slightly off, they're in trouble. And there's so many players that are of similar ability. But Merv knows one thing, right? He's been there, seen it, done it for the last 25, 30 years. That's, that will stand him in good stead. You are with Raymond and Steven. Steve, one, one of the best players we have on so long time. You up and down, but you're still there. Yeah, I'm still there. I'm... Uh the plan is not to go anywhere else. It's to get back up there um, and make his job harder because he hates commentating on me. You never know where the darts are going to go. So I, I. Two darts in hand on 80, he goes for 48. I don't care. Anyone says it's wrong. It's wrong when you're under pressure. But he hits 48 32. So what would you do? <laughs> <laughs> Is it, is it you help to be here in the Netherlands with your friend Steve, Wayne, Colin again? Do you know what? This is absolutely fantastic. I love this because I, I said to Colin and Wayne earlier, I miss you boys on tour. I do. I miss them on tour because it's, it's not about having a laugh anymore. It, it, it's just so deadly serious. And you've got to be lighthearted about what you do or otherwise it will grind you down. You've got to be having a laugh and a joke somewhere. And without them, I ain't getting it. Make it difficult, not, yeah, people were getting older, your friends going older, lost all cards, stop. It's not just, it's not just about age, it, you know, you, you need, what's the word I'm looking for? You, you need people that are, um, camaraderie. Yeah, you know, I agree, I agree. And, and it's, there's, not a lot about now. Um, it's all deadly serious, and and you, you've got to have a little bit of banter. Um, and trouble is, when they stop all the banter, they stop all the serious darts, because without banter, you, you you're not going to get the the people concentrating properly on what they're doing. Yeah, you need to enjoy what you do. Yeah, you really do you need know. to enjoy. It. And look, the, and you mentioned Steve Beat and Mervyn Steve Beat, and there's there's no two players on tour that have lasted longer on tour than those two yeah. that's because that one they get it right and two look world class day in day out that that's the real reason but you have to enjoy it yeah. and there's a lot of kids coming through now that are under pressure because they got they got sponsorship coming out their ear holes and and they will be under the cost sooner rather than later and that's not easy to to live up to but look the world of darts is in a good spot right now so let long mate continue move in the last you enjoy darts still in the last, last past year, half year? If, if I didn't enjoy the game, I wouldn't still be playing. Um, at the end of the day, if you chop my arm off there, you'll have darts for it. Just a bit like Blackpool Rock, where it's just Blackpool, it'll have darts. So it's in my blood, it's what I do. The only thing I want to need to you, the view on Adrian Lewis, is it the right decision he can, he's stopped with darts right now and maybe he come back? or? Is it is it other view from you? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think with Adrian, you you need to talk to Adrian. Um, he's got his issues, um, and it's why he's done what he's done. But you need to ask Adrian, not us. You miss Adrian? You miss Adrian on tour? 
Yeah, of course you do. I mean, he's, he's a great guy. He's fantastic, you know. Banter. You know, that it is what it is. But you have to ask Adrian why he's done what he's done. Um, I can't answer that. No, and neither can Wayne. No, I never try to read another another human being's mind. Uh, it's impossible. No one's ever done it. And look, whatever he's doing, for whatever reason he's doing it, it's entirely up to him and his family. And, and hopefully he's getting support somewhere. But look, Adrian Lewis, hopefully, hopefully when he starts to, to, to feel like playing again on the, the Pro Tour, that he, he comes back to somewhere like he can play. Because look, he's a champion. He's an absolute champion. Boys, thank you. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Great thank boy. You. Yeah.